Hello and welcome to this new host of our video. Today we're going to be looking at the Powerbeam AC for the first time away from the computer. So I've got the Powerbeam AC here in its 420mm dish. We're going to have a test setup. We've got a speaker stand we're going to mount the Powerbeam to. And we're going to look at how to set up the Powerbeam. So how to build the antenna, how to build the mounts and how to get it set up. So without further ado, I'm going to open the box and have a look at what's inside. So we've got the Powerbeam AC in its box here. So we're going to open the tab up. And you can see inside we've got a few things. We've got the dish, we've got the antenna feed, instruction manual, we've got the brackets and antenna and screws, we've got power cord, and we've also got the other mounting equipment here. So we're gonna get this all set up and go through how to build the mount. So I've now got my speaker stand set up and I'm gonna set up the power beam and show you how to build the dish. So the very first job is to get this piece here. This is the bracket and the handle and you need to put it on the back of the antenna. So there's so there's three little grooves that need to go into the back there. And all you need to do is turn it left ways, and it'll just lock into place. Okay, next what you need to do is get the power beam feed and push that into the back there. It'll be a nice loud click and you'll be able to see the, the ethernet port at the back there. The next thing we're gonna do now is mount the power beam mount to the speaker stand. So you have this, this piece here to do our up and down in, uh, adjustment when we've got the power beam mounted. And what you, important thing to do is when you get it mounted, make sure these this hole here is at the top. This is gonna be our elevation adjustment. So you'll be able to see what degree that the, the power beam dish is tilted up. So the first thing you need to do is get this piece here and one bolt and one nut. There's, on this piece here, the side with the, there's two, there's two holes, one with a cutout and one with not. So if you get this piece here and put that there. So what we're gonna do is run the bolt through this hole here, so it's like that and then push that through there, there. And I'm just gonna do that up very loosely with the nut. Okay, that's mounted like that. Next thing to do is get the other bolt and push that through the other hole here. And we'll do the same, we'll push that through like that. And you can see it's through the hole there. So we're just gonna put another nut through that one. So once on this mount, once the nuts are tightened, you can lift out this side So once these nuts are on, and then there's a the mount on as well, you need to put this round the speaker stand or the pole you're mounting it to, and then push that bolt into that hole there, and you need to do up the rest of the do up the rest of the nuts, so it's nice and secure on the mount. So now our power beam mount is secure on the pole. It's not going to have the best grip just due to it being painted. Um, but it's on there now. Next thing to do is mount the power beam dish into the mount. So you can see here that these need to go inside of the mount and then there's two little holes that it mounts into. So that's that's securely in there and you can see that once it's mounted you've got the, the height adjustment of the dish. I'm just going to do these nuts up as well because they're a little bit loose. I only hand, tight, hand tight them. So it's just dropping with the weight of the dish. That's a bit more secure now. So I can now put the other bolts in. So the power beam kit came with four bolts and then there's some place to go in there. So one needs to go up here. And that's gonna be our height adjustment bolt. And the other one needs to go at the bottom. And then the, other, the same the other two side as well. So you can see those bolts are now tight and the power beam is not going anywhere. If you need to adjust the dish, you can unbolt these nuts and you can up, move the up and down uh, alignment of the dish. Thank you for watching this host of our video. My name's Alex. This has been a very quick look at how to set up the power beam AC Gen 2 from Ubiquiti Networks. Just how to build the dish, how to get the antenna mounted. Um, and in another video, we're gonna, just, we're gonna go over how to set up the power beam for the first time and get it connected to an access point as well.